In this question, we are asked to find the x cg of the halo cone, and we are told that the density is uniform. The statement that uh, the density is uniform is very important since it will help us a lot in solving this question. Another thing to solve this question, we are going to go through three steps for if I can include this one. So the way we're going to do this, first we're going to find, first we are going to find a slice here. We're going to slice this or find a ring. So first find the slice, then find the mass of the slice, which we'll call our typical mass. And then from there we're going to use the me the typical mass which is the typical mass is the mass of the slice. I'm going to take many slices so I'm going to add all of those masses. This will give us the total mass of the cone. So total mass. From the total mass then we can find the X C G. Okay? Let's dive straight into it. So the first step is to take the slice. So I'm going to slice this cone here. It will f it forms a ring more than I can say a slice. So this is, a, this is our ring, it has a thickness which is ds, we'll call the thickness or the width, I mean the width of, 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 the, of the slice as ds. And then what we're going to do next is to find the typical mass of the slice or of the of the mass of the ring this will call it as dm so let me go to another slide so that i can do this what i've done here is just i've sliced the the cone and took this part so what we have what we have to do is we want to find the mass of the slice, which we call dm, or the typical mass. So what we're going to do is going to write up the formula. The formula will say that the typical mass dm will be equal to the width multiplied by the circumference so and so in a way it's, it's area this is the area From the area, we're going to multiply it with also the density. Okay, so let's go through it. So this is the our width here. It's ds. So it's ds times circumference is two pi r multiplied by the density. We have a problem already. We don't know what is R here. So we can, simpl can simply use our sketch here to find out the ratio of R. So using similar triangles, you know, R over this part is X. R over X is equal to A over H. 
So in a way, we know that R is equal to AX over H. And then from the also here, it's not common to work with DS, rather it is better to work with DS. So we have to find DS in relation to DS. So how we're going to do that is simply using the same method where we use the ratios. We know that ds over dx is the same as l over h. So we're going to use both these in our question. So now we have so simply so here we have ds is the same as l over h times dx. So here we can just, we can just write l over h dx multiplied by two pi r, which is the radius, and then we have the ratio of that, which is ax over h multiplied by the density. We can write this in a very simple way. So this becomes 2 pi a then l times dx all divided by a squared. Let's, from here now we have the mass of our ring. Remember, we took a ring, we took this ring here. So now we know the mass of this ring. Now we want to add many rings here. So in order to get the, an approximation of the mass of this, we have to add infinitely many rings. But then remember, our rings will start from zero to h since we are told that uh, the length of, of, of the of the cone or the height of the cone is h so I'm going to add many rings here so many messes so in order to do that we know that we have to take an integral right so we have to take an to find to find the total mass here so to find the total mass, which we'll call big M. The total mass will be required to the integral of dm from 0 to h. We're starting from 0 to h. Our ring goes like this here. So we're going to take many rings here. So we're going to just uh, substitute here. Knowing that this is dm, all the constant will go outside of the of the integral sign, and then we'll be left only with x there. So we have two pi a l over a squared, the integral from zero to h of x dx. This is a very simple integral, which which we can do in a very simple way. So this will only become since it's x, it's x so I'm going to add a 1 to get 2 from to be x squared so and then divide by 2 we're taking the integral from 0 to h so this will only become h squared and then from these 2 and these 2 cancel out this h then this h also cancels out. In a way, we're left with pi a times the density times the length. So this is the this is the total mass of of the of our of our cone here. 
so now to to find the exit what we have to do is just apply the formula so now x c g so that, that's the last last step so the formula says that x c g is called integral of x times dm dm which is our mass the mass of the slices or the mass of the rings and then we have m which is the total mass here we can just uh, substitute through. We still know that the integral is from zero here up until h. So it's zero to h. So it's a simple matter of simple matter of substitution here. For this, I'm going to from this from this uh, simple matter of just taking the integral of x squared in this case now we have, we have to take the integral of x squared when we do that we're going to get when, when, when we do that we're going to going to get x squared and then take take the integral of x squared we're going to get a 3 then we're going to divide by 3 and then we we'll left with x cube there and then substitute h there many things will cancel out for example the, the h will cancel out and will be left with one h uh, this pi here pi and pi a and a this and this and this and this they all cancel out and then we're left with the final answer of x equal to 2 over h, which is the CG of a halocone. Thank you.